God, Jehovah, Jesus is awesome. Open your Bibles. Go with me. We bless God for you. I hear the chain. Say neighbor, by the powers invested in me. I think I need to say that to somebody that don't really understand what I'm talking about. By the powers invested. In me. God is good. I say God is good. You know he's good. Now he's better than good. He's awesome. Lord is good. He's just what he said he'll do. Can't nobody. Like Jesus. I can't say because I can't say I say to my God in the midnight hour. Hallelujah. Oh, bless God. Look, the gospel. According to Luke. Go with me. Let's see what the physician has to say this morning. Hallelujah. Oh, I've been looking and we're going to cross on over the axe. How many know you got power? Yow, yow, yow. I didn't know what I had. You can have something for a long time and don't even know what you got. I got a C350 Mercedes and I just discovered over two months ago that it has voice that I could talk to it I done had it going on five years I just discovered over two months ago that on my, on my steering wheel I can hit this mic a little microphone and I can tell it what radio station Y'all ain't saying nothing. If I have some program, if I have a, a, a destination and I can tell it where to go, I discovered that accidentally. Y'all ain't saying nothing. So on today, I want you to discover. Y'all ain't saying, I don't care how long you've been saved. I don't care how much power you had. Today, you're going to get more power. You discover before it's too late. 
Come on. I ain't gonna be loving. Y'all in the dance. Hi, yo, baby. Yes. <laughs> 
the sense. Uh -huh. The power. Uh -huh. Invest. Uh -huh. Jesus put an investment in you. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. He put an investment in you. He took his time on you. He took pride and joy in making you who you are. Choose your authority. Every now and then hit the button. Hit the button. And tell the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost, I need you to do it. Now the Holy Ghost ain't gonna do it unless you allow it. But you got to get up. You got to get up out of do nothing. You got to claim it. You got to stand on God's word. Yeah. But I 
manual, read the manual, read the manual, read the manual with me. It's already done. Christ has already suffered. He already worked it out. He already went to camp for him. He took on your sickness. He took on your disease. I wish I had somebody. It's already done. I know some of y'all don't like this, but it's already done. Because see, we can let folks know it's already done. They are turn from their wicked ways. We can let them know you're struggling with something that you don't have to struggle I got 
believe God's word all the time. Y'all yeah. yeah. talking about we want supernatural miracles. We got to claim it. Yeah. I told them exactly what I wanted in my bank account in three months. Yeah. I don't know what's, what's going to happen. I don't know what, what's going to happen, but I, I believe in it. Yeah. 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 Oh, you ain't got to believe it. I ain't trying to make you mad. Invested in 
destiny, you will begin to decree a thing. And it does not say that the enemy is not coming up against you because he got to fulfill the scripture. The Bible said no weapon formed shall prosper. So that lets me know that weapons will be formed. But in the process, they won't prosper. And he also said whatever I decree it shall be established. Deliverance. Healing. Breakthrough. Amen. I'm decreeing that this note will be paid off. I'm decreeing that something, I don't know what's going to happen, something supernatural is going to take place. I'm decreeing that I say, you know what? We just love y'all enough to say forget about it. We need a time to turn off anyway. God is just like that. We need to understand by the powers invested. In us. Who are we? How many of y'all got the Holy Ghost? Amen. Then you got power. Amen. Now if you ain't got it, you got to get it. Say, so how do I get it? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Call on him until you be endured. Just something get a hold of you. Amen. Stand to your feet. They went in the upper room. And they received it. But you know what? After that, slow it down a bit. The churches was established. And you know why they were said? Because those men of God and women of God knew who they were. They didn't worry about no bullies. Because you got saints. You got demons that are bullies. They try to bully your anointing. They try to aggravate the heck out of you. Yeah. Let me tell you something. If the enemy coming out with a new spirit, the spirit of aggravation, they get the church so agitated and aggravated they don't even want to pray. But that's when you got to take authority. That's when you got the powers. But you got to recognize what it is and take authority over it. Amen. I use my Speaker now. It took me a while. All these years, I got my car in 2010. And it's 13. Well, maybe, yeah, 10. But I had it longer than that. I got it in nine because I got it like six months after my husband. Maybe three months after he died. Yeah, I got it in nine. And it took me all those years, four years, to realize what I had. But now that you know what you have, use it. Use it to your advantage. Open your mouth and speak Jesus over every demonic activity that's been going on in your homes, in your mind. Amen. By the powers invested in me. Amen. When that judge sends out an order, he has powers to do that. Pastor Mo has certain privileges. In the city of Jacksonville, as a policeman. Amen. Certain privileges that come along with being that. You have certain privileges on your job. Because you have been given that power and that authority. So that what God has given you, use it. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Yes. But don't use it to your disadvantage. Yes. Don't use it for witchcraft. Right. Right. Dead word curses and death. Amen. Use it to glorify God. Yes. Look at them children that's been acting up and speak life over. Yes. Stop speaking death over your own children. Yes. Stop speaking death over your husbands and your wives. Sometimes you got to look at somebody the power invested in me. I'm calling you out of that situation. Glory to God. Amen. Mean it. Go home and go to sleep. When I married, a couple I married, when I married, Kay Dale and Titus, 
Deacon. When I married them, I left them. It's up to y'all now to marriage. Y'all don't get this. I done gave y'all the rights to act like husband and wives. It's up to y'all. But Jesus, y'all gonna get this. Are y'all getting it? I'm giving y'all some brother. Gave you the promise. It's left up to you now. Now don't go home with K. and Titus. Are y'all loving each other? Do you love each other? Do you kiss each other? Do you hug each other? Well, I know they love each other because they got a baby back there. <laughs> See, the evidence is there. Y'all yeah. gonna get that moving prophetically in the natural. When Jesus gave us the promise, he leaves it up to us to use it. When Brumos gave me that Mercedes, they didn't set me down and go step by step through the manual. They say, here's the manual, read it. That's right. And so I missed out on some good stuff that I could have been using. I could have programmed everything I wanted to in that car. And just got on the highway and said, take me here when I you know, put it in there. Just go to, go, go to Mexico soon. <laughs> But you see what I'm saying? But he gave you the promise. That's a promise. When Jesus got up on the third day, with all power in his hand, he gave it back to us. Amen. Daniel 3. Amen. Are y'all here in the church? You got power. Use it. God not going to make you use it. He gave. He already invested it into you. Amen. Amen. His investment was when he died on the cross. Now he said, open your mouth and use it. Walk in it. Trust him. You ain't got to keep going back. Trust him. Time out now. Time. Time to short now. I'm telling y'all, me and another apostle judgment is beginning right now in the house of God. Amen. Raptures, people folks are being caught up out of here now. Shoot, shoot. You see them Monday, they guarantee you will see them the next day. Open your mouth and speak it. Lift up your hands right now. Oh, y'all thought I was going to call the altar call. No, I'm not. Because I wasn't released. And it's not saying I'm being selfish and I ain't ever known that's not the truth. But we got to hear the word. Because I'm tired. I, I am. The folks coming up here. And falling out and they still don't believe in God's word. His word brings life. He said, I'll give you life and give it to you more abundantly. Sometimes you gotta press when you feel the anointing in the house. Press beyond your friend. Press behind young you. Whatever going through, right then press. Because I guarantee if I had a pot of gold up here. You'll press up here to grab a piece of that gold. We gotta press and believe God's word because He's doing it by the powers. Put your hand on your stomach right now. Father, right now, as these thy people lay their hands on the belly, God. I say belly because God, you said out of our belly shall flow rivers of living waters and I know water represents life God and God water moves, water doesn't stop even when it's been consumed in the human body it does not stop, it goes in and then it comes out again Father I thank you right now because you said that you would give life and God I ask that you would strengthen your people that they may stand on your word and stand on your promise on this day Father we thank you right now God, we love you today. Father, the power that is within them. The power. Somebody just need to know you already died. All they need to do is repent and turn from their wicked ways and acknowledge that you are Lord and Savior. Father, I thank you right now. And those that already have the power, God, Set them on fire. Set them on fire, God. 
That when demons see them coming, they have to scatter. That they may be effective on their jobs and in their homes, God. I thank you right now. And God, you say whatever we decree. If we decree a thing, it shall be established. According to your book. According to the prophet. Jeremiah, Father, I stand on it right now. And God, even according to Psalms 31. God, in thee will we trust you, Lord. And we will never be ashamed. God, we thank you right now. And God, we give you praise. We give you glory. That the powers yes, Lord. that have you invested in us, we will use it. That our marriages may be saved. That our children may be saved. That we as single men and women may walk holy and upright before you. God, I thank you right now. That we'll be better lovers and better. We'll love on you, God, and love on each other, God. That men may see Jesus in us. In a dying world, in a world of darkness, God. That the power may ignite. God, we thank you right now. And we thank you, God, that we'll speak over our finances. And we'll see increase, God. Because, God, you're, you're doing it. This is the year, God. That you're going to supernaturally do things. And we thank you. We thank you, God. How you disturb places for us, God. How you shook up foundations for us, God. How you blocked cracks to be in systems for us, oh God. We thank you, God. And God, we give you praise. And we give you glory right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. God, we love you. In Jesus' name. Clap your hands right now. And give God some praise.